Godheads, this is Chetty here, and I am back with a brand new video. As many of you know, Godzilla vs. Kong has recently come out, and personally, I really enjoyed the film. I thought it was a lot of fun, and I also loved Adam Wingard's directing. So after watching that movie, it definitely made me pretty inquisitive to go back and watch some older King Kong and Godzilla films. So I did so, and the first movie that I decided to watch was Godzilla 1998. Despite it being in development hell for several years before its release, Right before it came out, it kind of seemed like it had everything going for it. An $150 million budget, not to mention the duo behind Stargate and Independence Day were helming the project. But the movie came out and it was panned by critics. And it did decent at the box office, but not enough to warrant sequels, which you know Hollywood. Obviously, that was the main intent behind this film. And the main complaint regarding this movie is the actual look of Godzilla. It's just simply not Godzilla. In fact, in the film, I think it's supposed to be some iguana that somehow got big due to nuclear radiation. It just doesn't really work. In the original Toho films, Godzilla is shown as this beast that is unstoppable and the humans have to stop him. But in this, the humans kind of dominate Godzilla. In fact, most of this film is him running away from them, when in reality, it should be him as this unstoppable force destroying a city and they have to find a way to stop it. Another big complaint with the film is the casting. Matthew Broderick just feels a bit out of place here, not to mention his chemistry with the main girl is just a tad bit awkward. Towards the end of the film, I could kind of see how the two may become a couple, but it just didn't really work for the most part. And as much as I like Gene Reno, I don't understand the point of his character in this film. In fact, you know, the whole storyline with the French army infiltrating the US army or military just didn't really make any sense. And that kind of leads to my main problem with the film. That being that there's just too much unnecessary stuff in this. Firstly, the movie is just way too long. I feel like 20 to 30 minutes could have been trimmed off this thing and it would have been the exact same movie. It just has so many pacing issues. For instance, for the first hour and a half, well, I wasn't in super into the look of Godzilla. I didn't really see a lot of the complaints with the film that I see that are so prevalent with others. But then, like, halfway through the film, they go to Madison Square Garden, and from that point, it basically just becomes a ripoff of Jurassic Park. And that's whenever I began to see some of the criticism with this film, that being that it's just simply not a Godzilla movie. And while that segment was not boring, per se, it just felt very unnecessary, and it went on for too long. But I will say that does lead to one of my favorite sequences in the entire film, that being the final chase. I feel like that perfectly encapsulates the Godzilla character, and that was the best depiction of Godzilla slash the best Godzilla scene in the film. And I think that final segment of the film is actually really great. But the whole Madison Square Garden segment with the mini Godzillas just really bogs down the film for me. Although I must say I really like the use of practical effects in this, especially on that bridge scene whenever they get picked up by Godzilla. I think they could have easily used some pretty bad CGI, not to mention there is some pretty horrible CGI in this. But I really like the use of practical, but as I said, some of the special effects don't hold up. I do think for a 1998 film, some of the effects actually do look pretty decent. But there is certain shots in this movie that just look horrible. And guys, to be honest with you, I didn't hate this movie. I don't think it's as bad as some people make it out to be. It's not a bad film itself, but it just completely fails as a Godzilla film. But guys, I had a fun time with this movie. I don't think it's excellent. It's a horrible Godzilla movie, but it does work really well as a fun 90s end of the world kind of movie. So guys, I am going to be giving Godzilla 1998 a 7.9 out of 10. That's the video. If you guys did enjoy it, as always, make sure to drop a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys very soon with some brand new content. This is Chai Sanam. Peace out.